Okay, part seven. So, 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 uh, uh, looking th we're looking through all the trash and everything. I'm, I'm getting kind of worried now. I'm getting kind of sick to my stomach. I'm not going to find this fucking wallet. It's got everything in it. So I go, I tell Danny, I go, Danny, I, uh, I need to go wash my face in the bathroom just so I can think. Because I was hungover. Hardcore. So he's over there looking through all the trash and, and cussing. And he's like, what the fuck? Who stabbed all my cars? <laughs> and I was like, I don't know, I don't know. So anyway, I'm kneeling over on the sink, trying to ke trying to, trying to think. This, this fucking hardcore ass headache. And I just look down on the floor and I glance to the side. And I see my wallet just resting right behind the toilet. And I grabbed it. Nothing was missing. And I was so fucking happy. <laughs> I was so happy. I was like, oh my god. I couldn't think about anything else. All right. So I yell at Danny. I go, Danny, I found my fucking wallet. And he goes, oh yeah, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Can you find my phone? So I said, yeah, 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 man. Yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, we'll find your phone, man. We'll find your phone. So I, I lift up the toilet seat. I say, hey, Danny, I might take a piss real quick. So I, I lift up the toilet seat, take a piss. I look down and I go, oh. <laughs> hey, da hey, Danny, come over here. I found your phone. <laughs> and he comes over, and his phone was wedged inside of the toilet. Oh. And I asked him, I said, he pulls it out, he goes like that. And he pulls it out, all wet with piss or whatever it was. And he goes like that, drains it out, and he's like, wow. Nope, don't work. <laughs> I go, what happened? Why did you do that? Why, why, what the fuck? How did you, why did you try to flush it? And he goes, well, because somebody pissed me off. And, uh, <laughs> so I don't want to hear him anymore. So I was like, well, okay, let's go get some pancakes. <laughs> you found your phone. That's the story. That's fantastic. It always ends with pancakes. Um, Shrimp and pancakes. Another, that brings up another another topic. Um, my God, the Spurs are down by 12. Oh, no, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, the Spurs are going to lose. Uh, we used to go to what used to be our favorite bar called Logan's in downtown San Antonio. Um... I don't know what the hell happened to them, but they're not cool anymore. No. It was just a small local downtown bar. I mean, it was small. And you can probably fit it in this room here. Uh, what made them so special was their cheap, their cheap, big-ass beers. I mean, they, these motherfuckers had mugs of the yin-yang. I mean, you, big old mugs or whatever. Uh, for like three bucks. They were cheap, affordable, or whatnot. Uh, so... This was probably 2006 error, 2000, maybe 2007. Uh, we decided to go over there. I'm going to make my, my story short because we just get drunk. Whatever. We get drunk, we listen to our music. Uh, we always used to go to IHOP to end our night. We go to IHOP, we're, we're drunk as hell, it's maybe 3, 4 in the morning. And for some reason, I look at the menu, and I'm really in the mood for pancakes. Obviously, we're at IHOP. But I look at the other menu, and they have fried shrimp. So I'm like, should I get shrimp or pancakes? Laz recommends that I get both. Why not get both shrimp and pancakes? So I'm like, all right, sounds good enough. <coughs> I order the meals. I get three pancakes, two eggs, two sausages, two and two bacon slices or whatever. And then I get about a batch of fifty fucking fried shrimps with some with some uh some gravy. It went down good. It did. Uh but in the morning I would not recommend it because you're gonna wake up around seven in the morning and you you're gonna have like a shit stack so high. Shit stack, baby. That's a new word. Oh, um, it, we, we call it a shit stack. Ex explain to the people what a shit stack is. A shit stack is when you shit so much, the shit is above the water mm. in your toilet. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> it takes about three to four flushes. It's pretty much dumping a doo-doo slushy in the toilet. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> a shit slush. <laughs> That's terrible. That's, hell, that's awful. <laughs> it felt awful. Uh, that's beyond awful. I have a lot of personal stories. Um, 
I was a one I was a I was a one man TK in Japan, you know, out in the service during the war and all that. So many beers out there that I want this guy to to experience. Uh, we will one day. Uh, hopefully, if we we get money or whatever, but all right, we we'll, will we will get money. What's what's the new subject? We need uh, donations from everybody watching, <laughs> so that way we can go and drink more. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> We're working hard times right now. If this guy doesn't have a beer. Well, he's got to oh, get up at 6 a.m., oh, so... Okay, we're going to do one of our skits. It's not a skit, uh, but it's going to be a... It's, it's kind of an episode. Laz is going to be the, quest, the question guy. Um, you're going to be... You're going you're gonna to come here. This is... Uh, <laughs> Huron's Guide to Love. The, gen, the General's Guide to Love. Um, oh, yeah. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm 30. I don't really date. I am divorced, but that was a long time ago back in the service, but I'm going to give the, Laz is going to ask the questions and you'll hear me answer. So starting now, this is Huron's Guide to Love by Lazarus Xerxes Reeks, a.k.a. Big Laz. Alright, so, uh, alright, so a lot of girls like to kiss and like, you know, make out things and be affectionate and so on. What about you, man? Do you like to be affectionate? No, I think it's stupid, uncalled for, and what what's the point of kissing? I mean, you you're with the bitch. You already did it, right? You, well, well, why? Why? Wait, wait, so you're not even gonna be affectionate before you do it? Why? I mean, why do you have to kiss all the time? Well, you can kiss her when she wants you to kiss her, right? Well, to a girl, that's all the time. Well, well, yeah. I mean, you know, females, right? They like to do all that. I just I don't. I'm not that affectionate type. Right. I don't mind pegging them in the cheek here and there, but don't come to me every day for a kiss. Like before you go to work? Huh? For what? You, well, what if you don't see him again? You die or something, you know? Well, there, there'll be other women. I suppose so. What if, uh, you know, some chicks like to be reassured that you still like them or love them or whatever? If a chick needs to be reassured, she can reassure I'll show her to the door. Oh! <laughs> I don't like a girl that is insecure about that stuff. Why be with a guy that you want to be for your whole life and then just question him your whole life? Mm. Just get out. Good one. Good. Good answer. Well, okay. How about this? All right, man. So, um, one chick all the time. Are you down with that or no? Fuck. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I, I can't, I can't, I don't know. I'm not greedy. If I'm with one girl all the time, like I said, there's going to be some, some, uh, some, what's the word, the C word? Some uh, C, com oh, I can't com say the C word. Com com <laughs> compromises. Compromise. Compromise. Compromises. Oh, yeah, that's a better word. Um, you know, the same lame old sex with one girl, not, not my thing, um, I, I, I'd had to start swinging or something. It, swinging? Yeah, you know, like other partners or you whatever. Like, oh, okay, multiple chicks. Not not necessarily, I mean, just swinging in general. Well, as long as partners. There's, no, there's no dudes in there. It's just, uh, well, swinging is you trade your, your partner. All right, how about this, man? Have you ever been with a chick, okay? She says she wants to do a threesome, but she wants to do it with another guy. What do you do, man? Just make sure you don't cross the sword. Oh! <laughs> okay, see? See? That's what it is. See, y'all think he's really hardcore? No, no, no. If I had that situation, I'm out the door. Like, immediately. <laughs> like, five seconds before she said it. Time would go backwards. That's how fast I would be out there. So, yeah, yeah. I just don't care. You're still going to bang the chick. It's still sex. I can't. Right? I, you know, as big as I am, I cannot get a hard on if there's another dude in the room. That's insecurities for you. Then it, I just don't like seeing another guy's junk. That's why I'm, I'm just saying, I mean, you're still going to bang the chick. I'm still going to bang her, but there's some dude, there's a naked guy right here. I don't, I'm not cool with that. You watch porn with naked guys? There's naked guys in the show, yeah. yeah. Well, you see, they're, they're actors. You can act your way to bang this bitch. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, you know, okay, the one time that this happened to me, I was unprepared. 
I know you told me about that. That yeah, she was a stripper and she was a stripper and uh, the guy I'm here for the gangbang. Yeah, I was like, what's going on here? Uh, I'm only uh, I was young, man. I was only. 20. You gotta remember, women are more sexually experienced than you. Yeah. And you can't just expect to pick up some random whore or, or broad. I'm sorry, that's a weird, that's a strong word for you. <laughs> uh, some random bitch off, off, out of the streets to be like, you know, I'm just going to do you. If you're doing that, you better expect that bitch is going to have a fucking uh, circus at her house. So what do you think, man? Would you let your girlfriend or your uh, lady friend uh, sleep around? Yeah, those, those are compromises. Because you you're damn around. right, I'm gonna sleep around. You want her to sleep around? I wouldn't mind. You wouldn't mind. But for me to just bang one chick, no, no, that's not happening. So you'd be cool if she said, "I love you so much, Kieran. You can sleep with as many girls as you want, but I want you off to myself." No. You'd not be cool with that. No, I'd rather have her sleep around. Ah, myself. for the conscience? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm not that heartless, but right. if she was, if she was like that, nah, I mean, then she might be psycho or something. Like, Maybe a couple of couple of crazy, couple there, of fries, you know, sort of. A to be with meal. to be with one girl is insane. I mean, I'm 30. Look at look at look at you guys that are with one girl and happy. Apparently, you guys get happy. You start fucking parading it that I'm married. What happens? You have a baby and look at y'all. You're bitching. Why did I get married? Why do I have a kid? Oh, I wish I could go to a bar. I wish I could hang out. All right, motherfuckers, this is what you do. Ha, 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 ha. What Stop you got to do. All right. All you motherfuckers out there that are married, okay. Is your mother-in-law attractive in any way? <laughs> is she attractive in any possible way? I mean, if you were wasted out of your mind on tequila and everything that you could think of. Okay. Does she have old pictures of herself where she is in any way attractive. Okay. If your answer is no or God no, then you fucking marry the wrong girl. Yeah. Because she will be ugly just she, like her mom. When she fucking gets with you and she says, fuck it, I'm with a guy. I can let myself go. I'm going to have all these kids. I'm not going to wear makeup. Then all of a sudden... 20 years, 10, 5, 10, 20 years later. You're Not with, even that. One year later. You're with your mother-in-law all of a sudden. Pretty much. Like, and, uh, well, and, up. and that goes to all you fucking high school whores who thought you were the shit back in the day. Oh, my goodness. And look at y'all now. Y'all are skanky. You're, oh. over, you're overweight. Five <laughs> kids. Oh, yeah. What happened to y'all? I mean, really. I mean, when you have one kid, is that it? That's the end of your life? End of the world. And, and you're happy? Yeah, man. You see him. You see him. You see him. You, you guys know who you are. You see him at HEB with all his fucking food uh, and shit. All his fucking. All the chips. You. Oh man. All this dip and and baby food and. No offense, but that's why I don't date uh, Mexican girls or Latina girls. I mean, ten out of nine out of ten, one kid, you're gonna pop. That's it. You're gonna get fat. Oh shit! It's further down by seventeen. Pulling it down by seven. Oh, well, I'm not wearing my fucking glasses. <laughs> well, they're down by nine now. What's better than 17? It's only the third. Anyway, <laughs> any other questions for the general? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got more. I got more. All right, brother. All right. Were you, uh, uh, okay, let's say this chick, like, uh, you know, uh, okay, how about this, brother? This is a hard question. This is a tough question. All right, all right. We're going to leave that question for episode... Alright. Uh, but I don't know. I'll, I'll count the episodes and then I'll tell you when we're done. Oh, I got, the general's got to pee. Oh, 